Uh, good afternoon. I just want to thank our friends from the media for joining us here. Uh, we just concluded uh, our uh, roundtable event uh, where we were able to bring in uh, our uh, community leaders. Uh, we brought in our military leaders, uh, our elected officials, uh, to talk about the importance of the KC-146 uh, coming to Meridian. Uh, Meridian pioneered air refueling. Uh, this is the birthplace of the air refueling gun right here at Key Field. Uh, and it is important that we keep our current mission here. Uh, the platforms that are being flown here by this particular unit, uh, many of these platforms are 60 plus years old. And while our airmen have done an incredible job maintaining these platforms, uh, it's time in some cases that some of these platforms have reached their uh, life expectancy and they be replaced with the new generation, the KC-146s. Uh, we know that Air Force is looking at rolling out uh, 16 of these new platforms uh, within the next several years. Uh, those platforms will be rolled out to two bases uh, that currently uh, house the KC-135s. Uh, and our intent today was to show community support for Meridian. Uh, to make sure that we are positioning key field uh, so that those new tankers will ultimately call Meridian home. As we stand here today in this complex, a complex named after the legendary Congressman G.V. Sonny Montgomery, uh, who has made this mission possible here in Meridian, uh, I can think of no better way to honor his legacy uh, than by positioning Meridian uh, so that the KC-146 is soon called Meridian home. At this time, I would like to introduce a couple of our heroes here. Uh, General Blanchard is going to speak and give comments for just a few minutes about the incredible things uh, that our leadership is doing uh, within the Air National Guard and Army National Guard uh, to make sure that we are positioning Meridian uh, for this transition. So, General, I'll turn it over to you. Appreciate it. 